Oh man. Gosh. That's a fish. That's a good one. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video of JTH Outdoors. Today's video, we're gonna be doing a lot of crankbait trolling. We're also gonna be doing a bit of crappie fishing, but my main focus today is crankbait trolling. I'm gonna show you guys my favorite, my favorite way to do it. Real simple, we'll get into it guys. I'll show you how I do it. Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, first off, I'm gonna show you the bait I'm gonna be trolling. This is the Berkeley Flicker Shad. Had so much success with it. This is the medium size one, I'm pretty sure. It goes to around 11 to 12 feet. Awesome little bait. We're gonna be trolling out. We're gonna go and be around. It depends what these fish are doing. You know, we'll just see. Sometimes I'll go, you know, 2.5, 2.6, and then sometimes I'll go 1.3. We'll just have to see what these fish are biting at, so see what we can get in. Alright, so what I like to do, I'm trolling four rods. What I'll do, each one, I'll cast back behind me. There's a lot of fish on the graph, so that should be really good. Big marks, too. And here's another color. I like shad colors, mainly fish shad colors. I think, you know, when you're doing this, shad's the best. Well, at the bait shop today, they're out of minnows. So our main focus is crankbaits. Right now, we're only going about two miles per hour by the tree line. That's a good one. That's a fish. Feels like white bass. You see how quick that was? A little white, uh, is that a white bass or is that a, uh, it's a little yellow bass. But there's tons of these. Kind of weed through them a little bit. These are the kind of fish that they'll get you right, they'll get these hooks right deep in your hands. Gotta be careful with them. Oh my goodness, got one there. Nope, it's not nice. Another one of them yellow bass. Come here, bud. So here's another one. He's little too. That's a little crappie. This is another great way, especially when you don't know a lake too good and you ain't been to it in a long time. You troll around with crankbaits and at the same time while you got a line out catching fish, mark stuff it's, i mean i do it all the time it's a little crappie but i do it all the time go out there see a big brush pile and sats again mark it keep trolling oh there's one no no these aren't the biggest fish i think what we might do we're gonna shoot across the lake after this one because I've caught some nice ones. Some nice fish over on the other side of this bank. I just think there's a lot of yellow bass over here. Majority, well, I caught like three or four of those yellow bass over there, but I haven't got one yet. That can be a good thing. It might mean, you know, those hybrids, they'll eat them yellow, yellow bass. I'm not seeing very many big marks on the graph. I'm seeing a few. Back there, I saw a lot of shad. I'm not seeing much here. Once we get up here, there's a point that goes out. And that's, that's, a, that's I've caught a lot of fish, right, on that point. Because it, it makes this point, and it goes from, you know, 15 feet or like 12 feet down to 30. And them hybrid will stay right on top of that hump. I honestly, I love trolling crankbaits midday. I like, I'd rather fish a brush pile in the morning and then by midday, go troll crankbaits. Tunt, that's a fish. That's a little one, but. 
That rod got bent pretty good. Oh, that's a baby. I won't keep this guy, he's too small. There's something. Little white, little yellow bass. Yeah, that's a really nice yellow bass. It's like your premium size. Got two little areas I saw. Maybe. It's hard to tell. That's a good one. No, 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 no. That might be a hybrid. Yeah, that's a hybrid. That's what we're looking for. Oh, he can't even, he ain't even budging. That's the way to go. Stripers, hybrids, you can do anything. Come on, let me see. Oh, that's a that's a nice one. That's a really nice one. That's that's the one. That's the one. That's the hybrid. They're hitting all right. That's the hybrid. I was one. <laughs> Man, fishing's fun. I'm out in this creek channel. Oh, he's digging. He's digging all right. That's what that, not, that eight pounder did to me. Almost nine pounder. Once you get them close up, they just start digging. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. That's a hybrid. That's the fit. That's the targeted species. I'm gonna reel these in now. Before I even mess with him, there's nothing worse than the big tangle up. Oh my goodness. Whoa, 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 whoa. You ain't going anywhere. You're gonna jump out on me. I don't trust this. We'll put you here. There you go. Look at that. Uh, he's not a three pounder. And I'll bet there's other crankbaits out there. It's pretty good. I, I know uh, Rapala. I like some. I got a few of them. I've caught some fish on some of their baits. Little. They're a little bigger off, like than you think when they're off camera, but they got some good little meat on them. Doesn't hurt to take a few of them. Doesn't hurt to have a few extra flays. I know they're pretty small. Believe me. I like catching them big white bass at Taylorsville, but. Whoa. Whoa, that rod. Hey, that was a good hit. That was a good hit. It's a little one, but. Yeah, that's a smaller. There's so many yellow bass. But like they've been all morning long. They're right at 10 feet deep. I mean, there's a huge mark right there. That's a nice one at 10 feet. That was probably one of the biggest marks I've seen all morning. But it's right before that thermocline. They're right above it. You see that line where the water, it's, it's, I don't know how to describe it. There's videos on it, how to describe it. But they're right above it. Come on, little guys. I'm going to let this one go. I'm going to stop keeping them. Oh, my God. There was a big old hybrid. I hope y'all got to see that. All right. So if you look at my down scan. See that right there? That's the thermocline. I think that's what it's called. And then you'll see these big marks above it, like right there. Those are big fish. Those are hybrids. And that's right where my bait's hanging out. And back there, right in that creek channel. I mean, I was seeing tons of marks. Well, that that's really, that's what I'm looking for. And that's where I got that one at, so it's working. I mean, 
seeing them and I'm catching them. I caught only caught. It's not as fast as it usually is. You usually get a lot more. That's a monster. Oh my god, he popped off. He broke me off. It broke me off. That was probably about a 12, 13 pounder. Oh my goodness. I was sitting there looking at my Instagram. I look up, guys. And that rod was quad, I mean, it broke me off. That was, that would have been my PB. Full on broke my line. It was that big. That's a big one. Man. That got me, got my blood pumping. I had the GoPros off, man. I was in the turn, so I didn't really expect to get anything. And that rod, it was, I mean, I felt it. I'm in 30 feet of water, so I didn't get hung on nothing. And there's no log down there, so that was an absolute monster fish. Monster hybrid. Might be a better um, kill of bass. He's jumping pretty aggressively. Oh, that's a nice one. I'm going back through here just because right in here is where I lost that absolute behemoth. That's a big one. Got a big one, Joaquin. Did he come off? He came off. Came off. The shad. See, now this is what we're wanting. Sun came up. Some came, some came out. Sun came out of the clouds. And I just saw a bunch of shad, and now I'm starting to see tons of shad. Yeah. Now, on my graph, I'm seeing tons of shad. That is key. That's exactly what I've been wanting the whole time. I've been wanting the sun come out, let the shad come up. Now the shad are coming out. Now, now they're coming out of the depth, so these fish are going to start feeding little month for that sun to come out what's gonna happen water's gonna warm up shad are gonna come up and those hybrids are gonna get really act active that's a that's a good one got a hybrid got a good one got a good one look at that Joaquin can't even budge them <laughs> Dude, that's a monster. Look, I can't even budge him. <laughs> need, need redemption. This might be another five, six pounder. I can't even budge him. Oh, oh. That's a monster. Oh, that's a good one. He jumped. No, no, not an eight pounder. No, 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 not close, not close. I got a little hyped. No, about almost a three though. Ah, yes, sir. The way he was jumping and fighting, I thought he was huge. Okay, we're rolling. Odd, yeah. My other lines are gonna be so tangled now. So that's number two. Look at that, guys, it's another one. Yeah, 2.6, well, you see, we're not fishing for crappie. So it's like the faster you go, There's two guys. All right. 
Be right out. Right now is prime time. Be out in the middle of the lake. Where all these big old schools of shad are hanging out. And just catch fish. That sun went away, so all those shad went back down. They went back down that thermocline area. But yeah, I don't like I was seeing so many fish. Now I ain't seeing nothing. Oh man. Gosh. Look, I'm recording, but that battery's almost dead. Look, that's a monster. Um, I was just trolling along here. Didn't turn the GoPro on or anything. And just seeing if they're still gonna hit. And that rod just went ballistic. That has to be a good one. I mean, he he did a run y'all didn't see it but he did the most insane run yeah for a second i thought he came off i gotta loosen my drag with this and i lost a monster earlier today but i think this might be a good one i don't know you, you never really tell a big one my other lines are gonna be so tangled yeah he's a monster my other lines are gonna be so tangled but I mean it's it's better worth having those and Come on up, buddy. I want to see you. Oh, yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. That's another six or seven pounder. Let's go. Good night. This is insane. This is awesome. Gosh, golly, let's go. That's a nice one. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that big guy. Let's go. I'm gonna get my big grips out for this one. That's a nice one. Boy, I, I was, when he hit, Honestly, I thought he was a little bigger. Ouch. Let's see here. How am I gonna do this? I'm still worried about that GoPro. Oh, I bent all my hooks. Uh, we'll worry about that's a nice one let's weigh them real quick i always like doing that with these big ones i got these other lines i gotta i'm gonna have to oh he's five pounds five and a half pounder right there that's a beauty what a beauty beautiful species of fish what a beauty ah, i'm gonna have to fill it up with some water i've changed oh, i just got so much crap i gotta do now i gotta change gopro batteries i got an hour worth of untangling to do all right guys i'm gonna show you that right now i got him in a live well there he is right there a little over five pound a little over a five pound you know oh, i'm getting a phone call hybrid so look at that guys all right guys put him in a live well let's get back to fishing 
I tell you what, I mean, you're talking about one heck of a time. That was pretty awesome. And it's, it's really cool to have a fish finder to see where they're actually at. He hit pretty hard. It's fighting pretty good. He ain't really making a run or anything. He's just kind of wait. Come here, buddy. Snagged and oh, he snagged. No wonder he felt like he was a big one. All right, guys. I'm wanting to show you what I'm looking at here. So you see, there is that line right there. That's ten feet right here. Look at them big marks right there. Those are all hybrids. Those are all hybrids sitting there. My baits are right at that line. And that's that's what I'm looking at. That's what I've been looking at the whole day. Nothing but that. There's a decent one. Decent yellow bass. <laughs> all right, guys. I tell you what, man. Crank been are something else they really are they can catch you so much they really oh man uh i mean the heat today not the heat index but actual heat is literally 102 so it, it's a hot one and it's you know late day it's bad it's pretty bad so but today crappie weren't hit and we talked to the guy up with the marina he said crappie ain't doing nothing he also said hybrids ain't doing nothing but He's wrong by that. We were trolling our crankbaits. I did catch one crappie. Call all those yellow bass. Right here. That color right there is the money. If you ever go Bass Pro, you see that, you buy it. It works. It really does. I mean, the paint job's all beat up. It's been beat to smithereens, but that is the bait. And I usually run eight pound mono. Uh, this is uh, just a little nasty, a little 2500, and I also got the St. Croix Triumph. It's a seven foot medium, medium light, I think. I really recommend uh, mediums, medium lights. I don't like medium heavies. You can't really fight the fish, and you, you, they can pull a hook. You know, you kind of want a little bend in that rod for to forgiveness with that fish. But yeah, man, we saw them. Literally see them on the graph, I was pretty sick. They're all around 10 feet deep. We got those few nice ones, all those yellow bass. So. Thanks guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if this helped you. Give it a shot, maybe catch a fish on it. This little way of catching them. And yeah guys, so keep catching y'all. See ya.